So what were you saying about the combi? I saw the door. It was put back after they put the rubber. It's crooked. They didn't. It's crooked. 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 It's crooked. Crooked. Elsie, let me tell you something. Every time you pull out a defect on the combi, it really stresses the hell out of me. So just, I know the thing is not perfect. I know that we're going to sell the damn thing and buy a new car. Maybe after we come back from the states. But stop. But look, pointing out defects. It's just. Do you want a wife mute? No, of I course. I can be. I no. can. Just don't say anything bad about the combi. I mean, the damn thing is 16, 17 years because old. Because I closed the door and opened the door, and I noticed that. And I, you, my partner, I share no. with who else? Okay, fine. But the combi feels bad. You know, the combi has a soul. I analyze you if your hair is crooked. <laughs> crooked? <laughs> don't point out the I, defects. Is that a defect? Anyway, look at the sun shining. Look, not the shining, look but. Look at your hair. I don't care about my hair. This, by the way, is the Ilyaus North Hotel, which is close to where we live. We come here to have breakfast uh, almost every day because it's a very good price, all-you-can-eat buffet, uh, and we like it. Bon giorno. <laughs> bon dia. <laughs> Agora pra minha canada YouTube. Mais uma vez, por favor. Oh, no. <laughs> por favor. Por favor. Por favor. No. Você canta bem? Boa voz. So this guy was singing away just like two minutes ago, and I asked him to sing so I could put him on my YouTube channel. He got shy. He says no, but very good singer. Very good. Ele canta muito bem. So our mechanic told us to put 45 PSI because the van is heavy. I used to put 45 at the back and 35 in the front, but 45 it is all the way. So here in Brazil, everything is full service. So they pump the gas for you and they fill up the air for you. And such friendly people. They're always working with a smile. Nobody with a long face. What a refreshing difference when you compare that to our previous life in the United States. Really, big difference. So this is where we grocery shop here in Santa Grande. I'm waiting for Elsie to get done with some things that she's buying in there, but small town, small vibe. It's a little bit more expensive than uh, places in Ilhaus, but hey, it's the best we've got. And we're happy with it, <laughs> right? So this is Elsie buying all kinds of fruits and veggies, mainly fruits. I love this store, you know? You know, so little defects on these old vans are quite common. In fact, our van is in very good shape. So every time Elsie points out a defect, she's comparing it to brand new cars. I mean, this is a 2008. So that's 10, 14, 16 years old. And these old metal vans here, when you live by the, by the sea, uh, they rust very easily. So, you know, every two years, you've got to get the damn thing painted. Uh, mechanics always, every couple of months you've got to get them looked at. But hey, our van is in very good shape and I just don't have the heart to sell it. Elsie's been talking about wanting to buy, uh, uh, you know, a better car. And when we come back from the US, most likely uh, I'll end up buying a good used car that she can drive because she doesn't drive this combi. Uh, the seat is too high, etc., etc. So let me tell you something unfortunate that happened. The previous vlog that I posted about uh, Bella's first day out, that vlog was supposed to be 20 or 30 minutes long because I had shot 
video the whole day, uh, but somewhere in the middle of the day, uh, I must have pressed the wrong button on this camera that I'm using, and it switched to recording slow motion and zero audio. So 70% of my footage was unusable uh, because of not having audio. Uh, however, I'm going to salvage that and uh, edit that into a short uh, where I can you know, put music behind it or something like that. So something one minute condensed. So look for that maybe. Uh, I'll stick that on Instagram and, and YouTube as well. So you'll know exactly how I saved that footage. Uh, <laughs> but it was unfortunate. It would have been a very, very nice, informative vlog. But I made the best with what I had. And hey, it worked out. Just amazing. Elsie is without any doubt in my mind the most authentic person I have ever met in my life. at the pet shop to buy food for Bella to last her for the two weeks that we're going to be in the US and this is the shop that we buy all kinds of things for her oh, Enzo. Oh. so Henzo speaks English oh. how are you I'm fine you're fine okay yeah. so every time I come here he practices his English with me and I practice my Portuguese with him. Eu falo com você na português. Necessário para mim. Nós viajamos, partimos para duas semanas. Vamos viajar para duas semanas. Quero comprar comida para nossa filhote, cachorro, para essa tempo, duas semanas. Talvez, talvez um grande, ah, talvez isso. What do you think about this for Bella to take her to walk? It's very good. It's, it's strong. Right? Right? Even when she grew up, when she yeah. grew up. And it's, it's short, so that when I put her by, by my yeah, side, she will have to stay by my foot, and I'll train her to do that. Right? Perfect. Yeah. So we'll buy this. Oh, Hanzo, you quero comprar isso também? Huh? Ah, okay. Qual nome vocês dariam para ela? Which name you would put her? Yeah, she's, she's uh, so beautiful. Something to do with the eyes. You, uh, Unica. Unica. No, no, but Unica is weird, right? Yeah, uh, but look at the eyes. Sim, mas Unica sounds weird. Yeah, no. This 
is where I have gotten my tetanus shots after I have injured my hand. Right here. This is exactly where we're getting the anti-rabies for Bella. So the guys that give the anti-rabies vaccine, they're actually today traveling around in a car giving vaccinations to other dogs in the area. So it just so happens they're coming back to this location uh, and we'll be able to get her, her anti-rabies right over here in Sela Grand. Right? <laughs> WhatsApp 73999618702. Pintura artística geral. Tudo. Letras, desenhos, grafite. Legal. Instagram é pinta.piola. Pinta.piola. Obrigado. Valeu, querido. Obrigado. So, this is only the second time that Bella is outside the house, and I cannot wait for her to be walking alongside me on a regular basis here in the city, at the beach, etc. Because the more I take her out, the more used to she's gonna get to walk alongside me. And I'm gonna get some treats in here so I can teach her to sit automatically every time I stop. And when I start walking, she walks alongside me. I stop, she stops and sits down. I've seen other people do that with their dogs. It's just a sign of a well-trained dog, right? So we're sitting here in the shade. We just ordered some food to go because we've got some groceries in the van. I just bit myself. <laughs> so it's a beautiful day. Uh, we're sitting here in the shade and with the breeze coming from the sea, it's just amazing. Restaurant uh, Nisi is a place we come to often because uh, the food is homemade, almost like a homemade uh, place that you would visit somebody. Prices are very reasonable. And we're taking lunch to go because we've got groceries sitting in the in the van and we don't want anything going bad. Right, Elsie? Yes. <laughs> so when you take shots of yourself, you've got to do this quite often. You come here first, set up the camera, go back, do some acting, and come back to get the camera. And hey, that's what every YouTuber does, right? Mm. Bella, you made a new friend? What's your name? Adamir.
check this out. Elsie, who's a seamstress, just made a bag to put what? Bella to inside. Cut the nails. And the idea is to be able to cut her nails. So stand, stand back. Let the bag, uh, the bag hang. <laughs> so look at this. So now Bella cannot fight us when we cut her nails. She stays where. No, see the. She head has come. the head has to stay away so she doesn't no, try but, to. But if she goes inside, she looks something. What do you think, Bella? You, <laughs> you like what your mommy did? See, like here, she cannot come down. See? Yeah, right. You go up, 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 she will be. Oh, oh look how she's quiet. Oh, this is backwards. So this hole is I know, for the that's, tail. Yeah, I know. That's okay. It doesn't matter. Bella, are you enjoying life? <laughs> Bella, is enjoying Bella. life. See how she she's quiet. She's very. Go back. <laughs> Bella, this is a this is a great idea. This is a great idea. No, I'll grab her if she falls. Oh, you said the Bella, are you wondering what's going on? Are you wondering what's going on? Okay, we gotta cut our nails. Now? Not now, but no. uh, one you of these days. Yeah, okay. Ready for us to go. So take this out. Okay. Bella, let's go for a walk. <laughs> With the tail hidden. Let's go for a walk, Bella. Let's go for a walk. <laughs> Bella, See how she stays, stays quiet. She doesn't move. She's Bella. like, uh oh, what's Bella. going on? <laughs> yeah, that's a good workout right there. Yes. That's 12 kilos. She's like 12 and a half kilos. Yes, yes. When we got her, she was not even one kilo. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Hi, okay, Bella. You're in trouble, Bella, with these honors. Oh, okay. so, good girl. I can, I can make it like a... So, you know, our gardener hasn't been here for two months. There was a lot of grass to be cut. Uh, and here where we live, the easiest thing to do is just to burn the trash. And that's uh, what we're doing right here. Uh, there's another pile right there, as you can see, also being burnt. Uh, because if you don't burn, um, there's just no way you have uh, the ability to haul this and take it anywhere else. That's a big ass fire right there. I can feel the heat all the way here. something like that you think ah! <laughs> you know in the beginning when we came here which has been about 18 months it was really tough for me to get used to living in this sort of environment because I've been a city sort of person all my life but I've must be honest with each passing month or two that goes by I get more and more attached to this life here which is really beautiful especially you know when the gardener shows up and cleans up because I hate gardening anymore I, I did plenty of gardening when we lived in the US for 30 40 years so when he comes and helps out and the place looks so nice and clean like 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 now it just makes me realize how fantastic life really is over here. I just got to do what many people say uh, who live here. They travel for a bit, get that travel bug out of their way, and come right back to paradise. And when they get bored, they jump on a plane or in a van or whatever and go travel again for a little bit. And when things are out of their system, like uh, theater and museums and various types of restaurants, then they're back again. <laughs> I think 
that's what we're going to end up doing after the US trip. Uh, that's coming up. What do you think? As you can see, these Bougainvilliers are now starting to invade the house and uh, it's very important to keep that from happening because then that becomes a bridge from insects uh, and other things to actually crawl into the house using this. So we're training these to stay on top of the pergola uh, and eventually we're going to extend the pergola to where we're going to have covered parking by uh, just by Bougainvilliers. I think that's going to look really nice. We didn't think they'd be so beautiful and every year they're just going to you know, get more and more beautiful. Bela, eu te amo. Bela, você é sempre feliz, sabe? You know, so when you have bougainvilliers, uh, they have a tendency to take over whatever is close to them. So it's very important to train them uh, and contain them to where you want them to grow. Uh, because if they start to take over the house, then that uh, gives animals, uh, insects, what have you, a chance to climb up and into the house, which is exactly what we don't want. So Elsie taking the time to train these bougainvilliers to where we want them to be is exactly what the doctor ordered. <laughs> Elsie is the most hard-working person that I know and super smart and an excellent cook. You know what? Let's make a vlog about cooking one of these days, right? Maybe I'll even give you a hand even though I'm a bad cook. You are not. You just don't like to do it and then you keep denying, no, I cannot, blah, blah, blah. Because you want me to do. Because I love your cooking. But you know it's sexy, guys that go to the kitchen? It's sexy? Cook. Oh, yeah. That's it. Oh, yeah. I'm cooking for you today. <laughs> it is sexy. Okay. But I'll be wearing my undies, okay? Don't you like be now? having any thoughts. <laughs> like now? Yeah, I don't want to show, but guys, I'm wearing underwear right now. It's kind of a nice day. And we've got walls and privacy. So I'm walking around in my undies. Nothing wrong with that, right? Bella's gonna be a good uh, guard yeah. dog at night. Yeah, I think she will kill the the thief by licking him. <laughs> that is true. That is so true. She's just such a sweetheart. Hey, Bella, what do you think? Are you gonna lick the the thief until he dies? Until he dies. <laughs> No, but she does bark at night. She does bark if she hears uh, sounds and stuff like that, which is great because then we know something's going on. <laughs> I love Bella. Boy, Elsie, our lemon tree is really full of lemons. We've got to take some of these and do something with them. Lots and lots of them.
Guess who's eating? Ooh, guess who's eating something? Oh yeah, it's a piece of fruit. Bella, what are you eating? Good girl, Bella. She's eating what we call in India an amrood. I don't know what it's called here. So Elsie tells me it's called a goyaba. Uh, in India, it's called an amrood. And this here is our goyaba tree that she was eating. She probably found it sitting here somewhere on the floor. Let's see if we can uh, find some fruit on the tree. All the good ones tend to be eaten by the birds. We get all kinds of parrots and things like that that come here in the morning, especially. Uh, and they just have a feast here and also mangoes. Right, right here is our mango tree. Look how big this mango tree is. Ah, look what I found. Right here, the two little ones. They grow to about this size. So these ones are babies. And once they're ripe, they turn yellow. And absolutely delicious to eat. Apparently, Bella loves to play with lemons. And we've got plenty of lemons under the uh, lemon trees. I don't have nothing to say. Elsie, say something. You are the same person. I'm the making person. Yeah, no, but people think I just talk for both of us. You do. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Elsie, please say something. I love you. I love you, too. That's it. You don't need to say anything more than that. <laughs> okay, my love. I did my duty for today. You definitely did that and then some. Now, let's go have some lunch at the beach. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Love you. Love you too.